Hi, this is Jason from New Rise Media, and I'm speaking to Vincent from Micro EJ about the wearable system, operating system that is bringing to the Internet of Things. So, welcome, and can you tell me a little bit about what you've got here? Sure. So we are showing the uh, various demonstration and uh, also uh, a product from one of our customers who built uh, a smartwatch yeah. uh, with our operating systems and development tools. And also we're showing uh, various demonstrations of the operating system in use on ST microelectronics evaluation boards um, based on low cost, low power uh, microcontroller, okay. ARM Cortex M4. Uh, M7 type of microcontroller. Yeah. Um, so where do you see Micro EJ being in the market? So where do you see the operating system coming into play compared mm -hmm. to when you look at the likes of Samsung, Apple with their huge market bases, where do you see yourself being? Sure. So if you look at uh, operating system for uh, small things, uh, the wearable, IoT or embedded things, uh, when it runs on, on microcontroller, then really um, the cost, the power consumption, and the footprint is key. Mm -hmm. So you, re you need to, to have very optimized operating systems for power, uh, cost effectiveness, and, and memory footprint. Yeah. And, and you have pretty much um, two solutions. You either have uh, real-time kernels or real-time operating systems that are small kernels on top of the hardware and then developers can use traditional C code yeah. to write their applications. Or you can have a solution like MicroEJ that usually sits on top of a real-time kernel and provides many more services to application developers and also the capability still to program in C or C++ but also using the Java language. Okay, so in other words, it's going to be much more accessible for developers to be able to come onto your platform compared to others that seem to be quite isolated in what they do. Yes, yeah. yes. What, what we've seen is typically um, a developer coming from the PC or the mobile world will be very comfortable yeah. migrating to Micro EJ on a, on a wearable or IoT or embedded device. Okay, so do you want to show us the products that it's working on at the moment? Sure. So here you have um, ST. A microelectronics STM32 F7 Disco Evaluation Board. Yeah. So it's running on Cortex uh, M7. Uh, it has a graphical user interface. And it's running Micro EJ operating system with a bunch of applications. And one specifics of the uh, operating system, it, it has the capability to connect to a, an online store and download uh, applications. So I could fetch this calculator application, connecting over the internet, yeah. downloading it, and launching it, and I can just use it very easily. So here you have all sorts of applications that I can run and also choose to uh, install and uninstall. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. This one is the same. Um, and this one is, uh, is, is an example of, um, of a smartwatch uh, simulation yeah. where you could have multiple displays with a touch screen and also several applications like notifications, counting steps, uh, weather information in various cities, um, music player. back to time yeah. and date. Okay. And those are um, real products from a, a customer yeah. in China called Bong. And this is a smart watch. So it's running on Cortex uh, M4. Okay. It, it has no touch, no button. So you, you just... If I can do it. Yeah, just change the menu by twisting the watch. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Whoops. Yeah, you can see it go through. So for going through to the weather, the time. Yes. It, it your gives heart you rate, the monitor. heart rate. Yeah. Counting steps, time. I don't think it, it does the weather. Um, oh, I thought I saw that. Oh, I've got that wrong on that window. No. Ah oh, well. 
<coughs> kind of trace the Chinese. <laughs> right. So that's an example of uh, of a smartwatch. Yeah. And this one is really interesting because it took four months for the customers from specification to uh, production. Yeah. And uh, it's it's very cost effective because it's running on uh, on low power, uh, cost effective hardware. Yeah. And also, battery life is uh, is really uh, is really good for for such a device. So that's one of the advantages that we can bring with our operating system. Yeah, fantastic. So, where do you see the future of wearable technology going? So, with all of this, it's um, very easy to see that your main things is power management and efficiency in terms of what you bring to the table. But mm -hmm. do you see that being what is the future of wearable tech? Sure. So I think something really important happened in the past years, that's the, the smartphone revolution. So now consumers, they, they are used to uh, having the experience uh, yeah. with the smartphones like iPhone and Android and, and, and get the mobile internet through applications downloaded from stores. So it, it has set a standard, yeah. a level of expectations for how the wearables should, uh, should work. And I think this is something that customers will look into uh, into the wearable world. Um, so if every wearable watch or device was a smartphone, that would be fine. Then you would have just to run Android and, uh, and, uh, and iOS. But yeah. it, it's not possible because of the cost. The hardware costs too much. The software is too big. So you need to pretty much provide yeah. the same capabilities, uh, but uh, at, a, at a cheaper price. Much. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. And just to clarify, because I know that many people might have questions about this in the comments, yes. is this a completely custom-built OS, not Android Wear with a layer on it? It's completely custom-based, yes. yes. Um, is it built from Linux or just entirely by from scratch? It's, it's built from scratch. It's, yeah. it's not running on Linux, because Linux would be just too big yeah. uh, and would not run on those small microcontrollers. Yeah. So Android. Uh, and Android Wear, they rely on, on Linux. Yeah. So we rely either on nothing, we, we can run on what we call bare metal, yeah. uh, with just a, s a small C runtime, or we can, rel we can run on those small real-time, kernel real-time operating system yeah. uh, that are available on, uh, on small microcontrollers. And we support pretty much all of them, yeah. whether they are open source or commercial. Right. And we have our layer on top of that. Yeah. And will we see this micro EJ operating system coming to um, wearable devices in the UK, or is it specifically on Bong at the moment? So right now, this is uh, one customer that we can talk publicly about. Yeah. But we have more design uh, coming, and it's worldwide. Yeah. Um, pretty much, we work with many manufacturers in, in various locations. So hopefully in the UK. Yeah. Pretty soon. But of course, the manufacturers, I'm assuming, you can't talk about. No. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Thank you very much for your time anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.